In this video I'll show you 5 brand new fusion tricks, from eye-catching text effects to AI photo editing, that will instantly make your edits stand out. Trick number 1. Bounce text. First, open DaVinci Resolve and go to the Effects panel. Now click on Titles and search for Text. Drag Text Plus onto your timeline. On the right side in the inspector under the text box, type your text. I'm typing Bounce Text, but you can type anything you like. Change the font if you want. I'm using Impact, but you can choose whatever you like. Adjust the size a little so it looks good. Next, go to the Fusion page. You'll see two nodes, Media Out 1 and the Template node. On the right side, under the text box, right-click on the size control. Go to Modify With, and select, Anim Curves. The text disappears from the viewer for now, don't worry. Go to the Modifiers tab. In Curves, choose Easing. Under In Slash Out, change None, to Elastic. Now go to Timing, and increase the time scale to make the bounce slower or faster. Press Play to preview. See how the text is bouncing but going off screen? Adjust the time offset a little bit until it feels right. Now gently lower the scaling so the text fits better on screen. Play it again to check. If it's still going off screen, go back to scaling one more time and lower it a bit more. Play it once more. Looks good now, your bounce text effect is ready. Trick number 2 Outline Text First open the Fusion page in DaVinci Resolve. Now grab a Text Plus node and drag it onto the timeline. Click on it so you can see it in the viewer window. In the text box, type your text. I'm typing outline text, but you can type anything you like. Go up to the shading section. In shading elements, select 2, and tick the enable box. Under appearance, click on text outline to turn it on. Click the color box, pick a color for your outline, I'm picking white, and press OK. Now switch back to element 1, and untick enable so the fill disappears. You'll see only the outline on your text now. Go back to the text tab and increase the size to whatever you like. Let's animate the outline. Reduce the tracking a little. Move the playhead to the start and click the keyframe diamond next to tracking. Move the playhead forward a bit and set the tracking amount to 1. Press play to preview. It looks good but we can make it smoother. Go up to the spline editor and open it. Check text so its curve appears. Click to open the graph, select the curve and press S to smooth it. Adjust the graph a little until it feels right. Play it again to see the cool animation. Close the spline editor. Connect your text node to the media out node. Go back to the edit page to see your finished outline text effect. Trick number 3 Shape Layer. First open the Fusion page in DaVinci Resolve. You'll see one node called Media Out 1. Grab a background node from the toolbar and drag it onto the Fusion flow. Connect the background node to Media Out 1. On the right side, click the color box to change the background color. Choose any color you like. I'm going with light blue then press OK. With the background node selected, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar, search for triangle, select it and click Add. Now you'll see a triangle shape in the viewer window. In the controls panel, try clicking Invert to see it flip. Uncheck it again. Check the solid box off so only the outline remains. Increase the border width a little. You'll see a nice outline triangle. Open border style and pick any style you like. I'm choosing round. Now you can also animate it using length and position. Let me show you how. Let's animate the triangle outline. Set the length to 0 and click the diamond to add a keyframe. Move the playhead forward and set the length to the maximum. Press play, the triangle outline animates onto the screen. If you want a partial triangle line animation, just shorten the length instead of filling the whole shape. Undo changes and reset if you need to. We'll increase the length a little bit, I think that looks good. Now add a keyframe on position at the start. Move the playhead forward and increase the position value to move the shape. Press play and watch the triangle animate. You can also create a circle. Delete the triangle node. With the background node selected, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar, search ellipse, select it and click Add. Now you can see a circle shape has appeared in the viewer window. Uncheck Solid, so only the outline shows. Increase border width. Set length to zero and keyframe it. Move the playhead forward and set length to max. Press play, now you have a circle outline animation. Change the color by selecting the background node, clicking the color box and picking a new color. I'm using yellow. Now you can see the circle animating in yellow. To make it look even cooler let's add a soft edge. 
looks cool. You can even design your own shapes. Add a polygon node and draw any shape directly in the viewer. Increase the border width a bit. Select the background node again and change its color. I'm picking dark blue. With the polygon node selected, add a small soft edge amount. Now let's decrease the length and set its amount to 0.031. Keyframe the position at the start. Move the playhead forward, for example to frame 55, and increase the position to animate the shape. Move the playhead a little further and set the position back to zero to loop it. Go back to the edit page and see your custom animated shape layer in action. Trick number four. Surface tracking. First drag your footage onto the timeline. Play the clip and decide where you want the surface tracking to start and end. Cut the clip at that point so only the section you need remains. Right-click the clip and choose New Fusion Clip. Go to the Fusion page. You'll see two nodes, Media In 1 and Media Out 1. Select the Media In 1 node. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar, search for Surface Tracker, select it and click Add. Shorten the Timeline view and enlarge the Viewer window so you can select more accurately. Draw dots on the area you want to track. Keep the dots close together for a better track. I'm selecting a wall area here, but you can select any surface you like. When the selection is complete, go to the surface tracker controls on the right. Click Mesh to see the grid of tracking points. Increase the point number to make the mesh denser. For example, 150 points for a solid track. Adjust minimum point spacing to control how close or far apart the dots are. I'm setting it to 10 for a nice balance. Scroll down to the track section. Change quality from faster to better. Click track forward, then track reverse. The clip will start analyzing. This can take some time so grab a coffee while it runs. When tracking is complete, play the clip and check how well your selection sticks to the surface. Now let's add text to that tracked area. Resize the viewer window back to normal. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar, search for text plus and click add. Connect the text node to the surface tracker node. On the right, type your text. I'm writing Fusion Part 05, but you can type anything. Choose a font, I'm using Impact. Increase the text size but keep it within the selection area so it doesn't clip. Click the color box and pick a color. I'm using a green tone from the video itself. Press OK. Play the clip and see your text stick beautifully to the wall. Select the surface tracker node again. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar, Search for Merge and click Add. Connect Media into the Merge node just like this. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar again, search for Luma Keyer and click Add. Connect the Luma Keyer between the Merge node and Media In node. In the viewer you may see the text partially transparent. Check Invert on the right to make the text fully visible. Adjust the high and low luminance sliders to refine the blend and make the text sharper. Select the text node. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar, search for Transform and click Add. Use the Transform node to tweak the text size and angle to match the wall. Go back to the edit page and play it. See how the text sticks realistically to the surface. A cool surface tracking effect. Trick number 5 AI Photo Editing. First look at my timeline. You can see a few images. In each image the glasses have been changed. In one picture I even changed the coat color. And in another I transformed the picture into a Superman suit. All of this was done using AI, and it's really easy. First, open Google Chrome. Type Photo Editor in the search bar and hit Enter. Now open the Artlist website. This website lets you create 5 free AI images easily. Next, click Upload, and choose your original image. Now type your prompt. For example I type. Replace the man's current glasses with stylish golden frame glasses. Keep the man's face, hair and background exactly the same. Make the glasses look realistic and naturally fitted on his face. Click, Generate for free. This will take a little time to create your new image. When your image is ready, click, Download. Now go back to DaVinci Resolve. Import your new image to the timeline. Trim it to fit your project. That's it, your AI photo edit is done. Thanks so much for watching. These were our latest fusion tricks to boost your editing game. Your support has helped Visual Nova reach over 1000 subscribers. Thank you for being part of this journey. If you found this helpful, please like the video, subscribe to Visual Nova and share it with other editors. Don't forget to check out parts 1 to 4 in the description for even more powerful Fusion tutorials. I can't wait to see you in the next video.